Hi, we're coming up to Rosh Hashanah and there's a concept I'd like to think about for a moment. There's one word we say on Rosh Hashanah more than any other just about and that's the word Melech King or Malchus Kingship. We add in to our prayers a tremendous number of mentions of this word and of this concept. In fact, a large portion, one third of the verses that we discuss in the um, Tefillah is called Malchus Kingship. We add in Avinu Malkeinu. We add in extra references to Hashem, to God as a Melech, as a King, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Now, why is this? What is this all about? Obviously, there's a lot one can say here, but we know in the last year here we've been celebrating the Jubilee. There's been a tremendous surge of patriotic feeling and love for the Queen and for the royal family. But how does that connect to what we talk about when we talk about Melech, which is Hashem? We have to think: What is a real king? A true classic king? Is the following. On the one hand a true king is an absolute ruler, but at the same time he's an absolute ruler who rules only with the consent and love of his subjects. That's what Hashem is ultimately. He's our ruler, he's our absolute monarch, but at the same time he's a monarch that we choose. That's what makes him a king, not a dictator. That's why we reinforce this idea of Malchus of kingship. Not just because we are in awe of him, but we have to understand what his kingship is. We know that Rosh Hashanah is the anniversary of the creation of man. Man is the crowning feature of Hashem's creation. Hashem creates the world and he creates man and he is the king over man. And Rosh Hashanah is, so to speak, our coronation of Hashem. We recognize him as our king, as our ruler, as the one we have that relationship with. At the same time, we realize that we are a creation ourselves that mirrors the world and the universe that Hashem created. We can also be kings. We can be kings over ourselves. What that means is that we can look at ourselves and what is right and right to do and we can try to do what is right to do that we can control ourselves that we're not controlled by others by influences by friends by family by society or by our own urges and appetites that rather we're in charge so when we say that word melech in the next few weeks with Tzlichus and with Rosh Hashanah and with Yom Kippur we should bear in mind that we have this king who is our king we make him our king, and in doing so, we make ourselves kings over ourselves. Wish you all Shana Tova, wish you all Sechasevu, Sechasemi, you should be signed and sealed, Lechaim, Ulashalom, for life and for Shalom, for complete. Good job,